meals, meditation, and mind. Come with us as we share some of our top health goals for 2021. Hi, I'm Dr. Paige. I'm Happy joined New Year. by my husband, Matt to bring you our health goals for 2021. Yes, Happy New Year. These are more or less small, simple, sustainable habits so that we can make lasting change for 2021. Let's, let's jump right into movement so <clears throat> Matt can give you guys some motivation that might be different than mine. All right, I'm pretty excited about trying to do one hour of really vigorous activity and one hour of moderate activity every day. So a total of two, hour, two hours of activity and <laughs> That's about normal for me, but I want to have it be <laughs> quantitative. You can start smaller than that. My goals are to work out twice per week, okay? I'll show a picture of my tracker here. I made a tracker for spin classes. We have a spin bike in the basement and a tracker for every time I get two miles in once a week. That's it. Those are my goals. Next up is meals. Mine here, I'm going to cook one to two meals a week without oil to try to reduce the amount of saturated fats in our diet and i'm going to eat more fruit to replace sweet treats after meals i got in a bad habit of cookies and chocolates and cakes and all of the good stuff over the holidays i'm gonna pick citrus fruit first because this has worked for me in the past so i'm gonna load up on grapefruit after my meals i feel like Paige really runs our kitchen so i'm gonna let her keep doing that and i'll fall in line I do want to try to drink more water. I tend to, I have to wear a mask at work quite a bit. And so because of that, I found it's very difficult for me to consume enough water and I've been very thirsty at the end of the day, so. Guess I should show him my daily morning habits video. I'll mm. link it up here so we can share. Next up is mind. I'm looking forward to, I actually got my wife a chessboard for Christmas so we could focus on using our minds and while we're stuck inside a little more. Date day. Yeah, since <laughs> Using our minds and planning for a date day once a week. Chess match off once a week. We'll keep you posted. Perfect. My goal is to read 48 books this year. That's two, two a month. That's not a far reach for me, but I want to read as many nonfiction as fiction. So I'm going to get an account set up on Goodreads. I'll share that with you when I get that going so we can share recommendations and you can keep me accountable to getting my nonfiction reads in this year. Next up is meditation. This one seems very challenging for people because I think we try to bite off more than we can chew. So my small, simple, sustainable change is to do two cycles of four, seven, eight breathing. I've gone over them in a video. I'll link it up here and in the description down below. That's it, two cycles of four, seven, eight breathing before I fall asleep each night. Stress relief, mindfulness, and help me go to bed. Sounds good. This is the hardest one for me. The first two are actually not big jumps. This one's going to be incredibly difficult, <clears throat> but I never stretch. I don't do yoga. I struggle in this world. So I, I don't meditate. <laughs> so I'm going to try to at least do 20 minutes of yoga a week. I find that will be a sustainable goal and something I will enjoy. And I'm also going to try to- Plus, he loops the kids into it. And I have started putting the kids in. And I'll link that YouTube channel down below so you can follow it and see what my kids and I are doing. If you want to try yoga, that might be a good choice for you. So that's the name of the game for us for 2021. If you caught my video on Sunday, I'm going to show you how I'm marking my goals for the week. Two goals per week. Keep it simple, but overarching. That's what we want to change for the year. The small habits that can lead to success and sustainable change to improve our health one step at a time, one week at a time this year, whatever the year has in store for all of us. Good luck. Happy Have New fun. Year. Make sure it's sustainable.